Hello, good evening, good morning, good afternoon. I am not quite sure where everyone is located, but um, I do try to go on live every week here from my home. And you can say Chicago, the North. And I want to come and talk to you guys about the power of negative thinking. I was listening to one of my mentors last night and she discussed the power of negative thinking. And as usual, when she comes about talking about it, I kind of pig- piggyback from her and come on live and discuss what I felt today. And I felt that she hit some key main points because we fail to realize sometimes that life and death is truly in the power of tongue. And the more we speak about our lives in a negative way, the more it's going to happen. So we must find a way to insert more positive thinking than negative. And it was a good point that she had brought up of a rainy day because many of us, we don't really like rainy days or different things like that. And we come out like, man, it's raining. Like, it's going to be a horrible day. It's going to be a messed up day. And when we place it into our psyche, that's what we believe. But instead of saying, oh, it's going to be a messed up or a horrible day, how about we change that to something positive and say, oh, it's going to be a fantastic day. You know, traffic might be a little bit slower or, oh, I had to go to the grocery store today. So the grocery store is not going to be as crowded as it normally would be. So it's just thinking about how can we take those negative thoughts and patterns that we have embedded inside of us to turn it more positive. And it is a lot of negative Nancys out there in the world today, and they will definitely try to make you rethink your positivity. Because a lot of people say, oh, this person can't be so positive all the time, this, this, and that, da 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 Baby, if you only knew what I've been through, And a lot of times I come across women who has no went through what I went through in life. And it's kind of depressing to see them continue to struggle, to see them continue to be like negative about certain things and worry about certain things when worry is a negative pattern. Like I can't worry about what happened in the past. The only thing I can personally worry about is what's happening in the now. And that is what I want to discuss right now is thinking about what is happening right now and how can we approve and take ownership of now. Because a lot of times when we think about things, it's majority of the time it's negative because we're worried about paying bills. We're worried about, you know, our jobs. We're stressing over that. And all of that is negative. When if we shift to more positive aspects, then maybe things will change for the better. So instead of, you know, saying, oh, no, I really dislike this job. Have like, man, this job is, you know, helping me. No, build my character and prepare me for the next step in my life. It's just those little things that we can do to help shift and define our purpose in life. Because if we keep thinking about all the negative connotations that we go through in life, what good does it do us? I don't think it does anybody any good to be so negative all the time. And I was having a discussion the other day, and I was like, Tiffany, how can you stay so positive? Easy. I'm reframing my mind. I'm retransforming my mind to speak in a positive nature, to speak in a positive light, to shed more positive vibes and be a very positive person. Because, you know, positive, negative, all those things rub off an individual. And I'm just blessed to be at a point in my life that God has propelled me into the situation. Little did I know that he was preparing me for this. Because this was never 
course in my plan of life. I don't think when something tragic happens to us that we think that it's going to happen. So I can sit back and be negative about it, or I can sit back and be grateful about it and have a positive mindset and a positive mind frame, mind frame to be like, okay, this was a lesson I've learned from it. I've grew from it. Cause I can tell you right now, Today, I am not the same person I was six months ago. I'm not the same person I was a year ago because I've taken the approach in my life to just look at things a lot differently. I don't want to look at things like, oh, in a negative manner. No, because for a long period of time, it was... You know, I was putting in my mind, oh, okay, you can't get pregnant, you can't be, you know, you can't get pregnant, and different things like that. And then when I finally did have to get pregnant, then my son passed away. Like, that can be very traumatic. But I don't look at it as, you know, something to be sad about or anything like that. I took it as a chance to improve myself, to make myself better. And now I look at it as, hey, so I can get pregnant and I will get pregnant again. And then one day I will meet my son again. You know, so that's just the mind frame that I have. So I said, I've been saying this over and over kind of again, if you've been watching me, what are you telling yourself? What are you speaking into your life? If you keep speaking, oh, I'm going to be broke, I'm going to be this, I'm, I'm scratched, I'm this and that, guess what's going to continue to happen in your life? Those things are going to continue to manifest in your life because that's what you're speaking out into existence. So how about you change that around and start speaking more of, you know, one day, you know, X, Y, and Z is going to happen. I'm going to be able to be a lender and not a borrower. So let's just think about that because, you know, I've been on here a little bit and I'm developing as a person. Like if you ever to watch my first ever Facebook live, it was definitely different from now and I'm still learning and I'm still learning how to express my feelings and get my message across because my message at the end of the day is always going to be positive what can i do to help shed a little light on someone else how can i be a factor in someone else's life whether they're here in chicago or in africa i don't know what is it that I can do to help change and sh shift someone. Because like I said, if it wasn't from the people that I chose to follow in my journey, I don't know where I would be. Because you could choose to follow the people, the naysayers and different things, or you can choose to follow people that are positive. You know, when I get on social media, I seek out you no know, positive people. I don't care if I know you, I don't know you, because most of the people I know, I'm going to be honest, y'all negative. And truly, I don't want that vibe on me. I said, if I can touch you to be more positive and more spiritually aligned with yourself, then, hey, we can, we can do some things. But if you're always constantly negative and negative and negative and negative and nothing positive is coming out your mouth, then no, I don't want to be around it in that environment. And we have to make that decision to be like, hey, hmm, I don't want to be around it too much either. Why am I continuing to put myself in a situation with this negative person because they my no cousin, they my best friend? But how are they helping you elevate in your life? You no, know, because you come to a point in time and age where 
It's all about growth and elevation. If you cannot grow and elevate in your life and you're just stagnant, then what are you doing? Are you truly enjoying life? No, God did not create us to be stagnant, to be lacking. He created us to be in abundance, to always elevate and grow. But he also gave us free will. So it's our choice whether or not we want to grow and elevate and educate ourselves or we're going to continue to go with, oh, the norm. And it's our decision what we want to do in our lives. Because it is amazing to me how the other day, I was giving away a free audio book and I'm going to continue to give away free things. Um, like I want to give away if anybody want a free um, audio copy of this book, The Power of Now, all you have to do is message me and I will send you the Dropbox link to get you a free copy of this book. It's that simple. But because it's positive and it's not negative, people are not going to radiate that. Because how many times have you seen something on Facebook or social media that was so negative, but people kept sharing it and sharing it and sharing it? And you like, why? But then when someone speaks truth and positivity, it goes nowhere. Because people feed off negative vibes. One, because when someone's vibe is negative, that kind of makes a person maybe feel a little bit better about themselves. Let's be honest. You know, if someone's going around happy and, you know, excited about life, having joy in their heart and experiencing joy, um, and the next person come around and they feeling a little down and blue. They want to find somebody that's more down and blue than them so they can feel a little bit better about themselves. Hey, let's just be honest. It's life. We all go through different things in life that take us to different places. You know, we're all human. So, no, not every moment is going to be a positive moment. You know, because we're all human and we go through things, you know, we go through different things that leads us to frustration, that leads us to anger, you name it, because that is what we do as humans. But at the same token, we can take those things and shift them. To talk about a little bit of the power of now, some things resonated inside of me. He said, basically, stop thinking. Because many times our thinking can lead us down paths that we don't want to go. Many times when we're continuing to thinking and thinking and thinking, we're leading ourselves to a path of depression, suicide, anger, worry, stress, all because we're thinking about an ongoing issue that might not even have a good benefit in our lives. So it's like, why are you going to continue to worry and stress about a situation that is not going to help you improve or elevate your life? All you're going to continue to do is worry and stress yourself out. And we all know where stress can lead to. Stress can lead to death. So why do you want to continue to have these negative things showing in your life? Now, granted, no, tomorrow is not premise for any one of us. But if you leave it in the now, you want to make sure that this now is the best now it can possibly be for you. Because it is definitely, it's definitely worth the ride to get more positive energy in your life. And ways that you can get positive energy in your life is, one, by reading. 
two, listen to audio. No, we are in a digital age where I don't think you cannot find anything on internet if you're looking to find it. Like I said, I'm giving away free audio books. Like I wish I can give away free physical copies of books, but audio books, if you really listen to it, they're they're almost about the same in my opinion. Cuz I go through audio books like it's nothing now. I go through books like it's nothing now because I want to see myself grow. I want to see myself change. And I know that the only way that I'm going to change if if I change you know, I can't wait on such and such to change or do this and do that. No, the only thing I can personally do is change me. And as I continue to change me, more positive things are going to shift and come my way. The more I can continue to change this, the more things are going to shift and begin to manifest because I believe that it is true. And that's all we have to do. You know, it says, you know, if you plant the seed, you're going to harvest. Now, if you plant a bad seed, you're going to harvest something pretty bad. But if you harvest a good seed, you're going to get something good in return. So, with that being said, I'm not going to stay too long this evening. Because I got to go cook dinner. But... At the end of the day, I just want you to truly think about all the negative aspects in your life. And are they truly benefiting your life? And if they are not, what is it that you can do within yourself to make things better? Is it, hey, listening to me ramble on for you no know, 20 to 30 minutes? Maybe I am the only positive influence that you have in your life. I don't know. I don't know each individual person's circumstances. I just know that if we seek something, we shall find it. Because, like I said, people have just been reaching out to me. It's like, how do you stay so positive? I don't know. It's, it's a choice that I wake up daily with. To come out and say, God, thank you for this day. Thank you for this opportunity to touch someone's life. Like today, I was just walking somewhere, and they was like, oh, my God, your smile, your hair, your hair color is so beautiful. I'm like, well, thank you. You know, and it's just giving you know, a smile, just a short compliment to someone that you see that walking down the street. You like something that you knows something that's going to give off that positivity. It don't have to be big, but it does take steps. It doesn't happen overnight, but you have to make the conscious decision to do what you feel is best for yourself. No one else can truly do what is best for you except for you. And trust me, once you start to become more and more positive, all those negative people going to be like, what's wrong with her? What's wrong with him? They're not going to really want to hang around that. Like they say, misery loves more miserable company. Because misery doesn't want any type of company. They want someone who's going to feed that negative, negativity. They want something that's going to be some someone who's going to be like more miserable. I'm like, yeah, girl, da, da, da. Yeah, this happened that... They want that. But when you come around and be like, no, let's think about this a little bit more rationally. What if this happened? Or, no, this situation occurred for a situation happened. Don't know, but negative people don't want to hear that. So, as usual, thank you for tuning in. I really hope that I touched someone's life today. Um, I'm always looking for people to join my team. Uh, right now, it's just about spreading positive vibes, living a life of freedom, um, and making money, changing your life, changing your health, changing your wealth, changing your happiness, changing your freedom. If you want more information, 
All you got to do is send me a quick message like, hey, something resonated with you and you want to talk a little bit more about me. Or even if you're you're having a downtime in life, you need someone to vent to. I'm a non-judgmental person. Trust me, everyone calls me to vent and I'm just going to listen and I'm going to give my honest opinion because uh, I was having a conversation with my sister the other day. Well, actually today. And she was you know, worrying about this and worrying about that. I'm like, you know what? Just stop thinking. Because your thinking is making me frustrated. How about we just stop thinking and let God be God? And that's what we feel sometimes as humans. Is that we start thinking and worrying too much. And we forgot who sits on the throne. And we got to sometimes let God be God. Because one thing that I know from personal experience, that God would never, ever, 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 ever put more on you than you can bear. And whatever is put on you, God will give you the strength, the ability, and the power for you to come out better than where you was at. So you guys, it is hump day Wednesday. You're almost there. But like I said, if you ready for that freedom lifestyle, all you got to do is DM me. As always, go out and be great today. And that is all. Bye-bye.